this God that has never joked with us. This God that values us more than anything. What can we not give to him? What can I not give to him? What can I not do for him? What will I not say for him? Where will I not go for him? Where will I not go for him? Oh my God! 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 Blessed be your journey because you are mighty. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Have your seat. Sometimes with time constraint, someone just have to try and abide by the rules. This building is very lucky. You know why? The building is lucky because you brought the presence of God to the building. Hallelujah. I told them in church, I said, the presence of God does not live in the church. He lives in us. So every time we come to church, we bring the presence of God to the church. Paul speaking, he said, for you are the temple of the most High." So the church as a building is lucky to have people like us enter into the church. That's why I told them the last time, I said, you don't get into your church and say, Lord, we need your presence. You are already a carrier of God's presence. Your presence marks the arrival of God's presence. That's how wonderful you are. The Bible is speaking, it said, God does not live in buildings made through the hands of men. He lives inside of us. Child of God, you must begin to understand your heritage. Every now and then, we keep crying, we keep shouting, saying one thing or the other about the nation. We keep talking about the world. If you sit and begin to narrate the ordeal of the country, Nigeria, you will be angry. But what you don't understand is that the world was never created to be this way. The Bible is speaking in Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. It says, and God saw that all he created was what? Was good. And so God never created a world that was never good. He created a world that was good. But you see, out of man's carelessness, man polluted the world himself. Bible speaking, he said, through one man, sin came into the world. What happened to Adam in the garden of Eden? Of course, you understand that when God created Adam, God did not go into the soil again to create again. Are you following me? Because inside Adam was the whole of the creation. That's how wonderful God is inside adam was the whole of the creation so when adam sinned we sin amen if you notice when god was about to make eve god did not go to the soil to make eve out of adam god brought forth eve and so we fell to sin and we lost something precious to us anyone who ever tells you that when man fell he lost heaven man never lost heaven in the garden of eden man did not lose prosperity Man did not lose power. What man lost in the Garden of Eden was what God gave to man. And the Bible said he gave unto man dominion. Amen. And so when man fell in the Garden of Eden, man lost dominion. It was the dominion that man lost that created problem for the world. The moment problem came into the world, the Bible made us to understand that God immediately switched to the salvational mood. And he told them, he said, your seed shall bruise his head and he shall bruise your heels. He made available the salvation of He brought it forth instantly. Hallelujah. Now, every time we complain of one problem or the other, the reason behind it is because from the very first day that man fell, God has never stopped sending solutions for the earth. 
and you are one of such solutions hallelujah as a matter of fact god is solution oriented and that's why all his creations are solution driven and so god sent man out of the solution to the problems of earth why because man caused the problem so you were sent to earth as a solution should i tell you why god hates abortion apart from the fact that abortion is mother god hates abortion because every time you have bought someone you have killed the solution that god sent to the earth it's not just about you killing the child in the womb it's about you terminating god's solution it's about you terminating someone that god has arranged and said go to the earth and help solve the problem because you must understand that nothing god ever created was created for beauty or for pleasure he created them for a specific purpose it wasn't like they had a smaller thing god said you know what let's just let's just no no before god will seek and create he has a deliberate intention in mind and that's why you are an answer to someone's prayer and that's why you are the answer to someone's question for instance in a country like nigeria before now god have god knew what will happen in 2020 he has sent a lot of men part of the people god had sent some careless women have killed them and that's why i keep saying if you ever think you are an illegitimate child erase that mindset from you because as far as god is concerned no one is illegitimate we may have illegitimate parents but we cannot have illegitimate children why because their orchestration whether it came through the back door or through the front door their orchestration was divine so inside of you lies a solution that the world is waiting for child of god the church has been very quiet on issues we have allowed certain things to prevail and we keep praying and praying and praying i told them in church today that the solution to the problem of the earth is beginning to shift from prayers to understanding principles and part of principles is prayers we may stay here and pray and pray and pray there are certain things you can only control from the inside and that's why god made us solutionists and so naturally when you came to the earth you saw some things that were not good certain things in your system began to tell you to fix them those things that were telling you to fix them is part of god's agenda for you and over the time i have taken my time to study the lives of great men in the scripture i've looked at daniel i've looked at joseph i've looked at paul and i discovered that the approach of these men to problems is not just something ordinary these men had certain tasks they needed to fulfill if you solve the problem that you were meant to solve if you answer the questions that you were meant to answer then we will have less of troubles in this world the good news is that what we have in this problem in this world is not a trouble but a problem hallelujah did you get that right what we have today is not a trouble but what a problem and you know why it is good news because troubles are not the same thing as what problems problems are solvable troubles are hardly solvable that's for those of you that did mathematics in your neutral math you see world problems you don't see world troubles why because problems are what solvable so our discussion today is going to focus on how do i begin to emerge that solution inside of me there is something the world is waiting from you and he told them in actions of the apostle chapter 1 verse 8 he said and you shall be my representative unto the outermost part of the earth everything god gave to you has a global demand unfortunately you have tied it down here i listened to somebody singing he said she was about to commit suicide someone from usa and she listened to the song sung by sinat this popular song and she changed instantly she decided not to die again that is someone from nigeria providing solution to someone outside the shores of the country are you following me now she is not a different person the same way god made her with a bunch of solutions that's how god have equally created you with a bunch of solutions but if we become mediocre if we allow the terrain our idea of the global world is to go to school graduate maybe with the first class or a two one look for a job get married and push on life that's that that's beyond below what god has in store for you the plans and the desire of god is that you will be a voice and not an echo the desire of god is that you will be a principality and not just an ordinary force you'll be someone that will utter words and people the bible us to understand that in those days when prophets like elijah speak the whole nation is troubled as a matter of fact people like samuel when he got to the where david was the bible said when he got there people said are we saved 
Why? Because a prophet with the mandate of God has just arrived. You are that person with the solution to the problems of the world. Hallelujah. Inside of you, it is loaded. And we're going to look more, focus more on career. What you are studying in school today. What you have decided to do with your life. What, what are the things we can learn from great men in the scriptures that we can bring into our own life and begin to use them and apply them on daily basis. You hear of how this lady stopped the killing of twins. How this one. Where, where will your name be written? Can't it go beyond the shores of your community? The world today is saying of Pastor, pa Dr. Pastor Paul and Nature everywhere. How about you? Where is your name going to? More than the bragging right of a first class of accounting, a first class of public admin, and so you graduated the first class with 4.5 to someone left school first class with 4.89. So, what is big about your first class? Your certificates are important, but what is more important are the solutions you are able to provide. That's why God never created a dollar, He created everyone to be intelligent. Whether you are a drummer or you are a keyboardist, there is a special ability that God has, there's a package that God has that can make you a source of liberation to, to, some, to some persons. The thing you call small can become something that people will cherish all the days of their life. What was it that Thomas Edison did? You talk today about basketball, the first name that comes to your mind is Michael Jordan. You talk about, about golf, you talk about Tiger Woods. Where will your name come out? And we have strength. We are youth. Yet we are so much relaxed. We are so much relaxed. You are okay with the situation of things. We are in a generation where youth can hardly pray. They are in, in they are uneasy when the program begins to last for two, three hours. They want to go and attend to something. And if you check it critically well, what are they going home to do? Nothing much. What up? Sleep. No wonder the Bible said Satan is the prince of the end, Ephesians chapter 2. He has allowed the air to take over our priority. Child of God, you have to begin to think in terms of what you carry and how you are going to showcase it to the world. Hallelujah. Psalm 115 verse 16. I like that scripture. Psalm 115 verse 16. If you're there, you can read. Did you see it now? He said the heavens is what? For God. But the earth he has given to the children of men. Are you following me now? So God handed the earth to us. He's not dragging the earth with us. In your retreat, I told you that if God wanted to drag the earth with you, he wouldn't have said, let them have dominion. He would have said, let us keep having dominion. Rather, he said, let them have dominion over the earth. So if you have not begun to exercise a certain level of dominion over the earth, you are missing out of God's purpose. You are, you are part of the problem of the world when you should be part of the solution of the world. The earth has been given to us to take over. Stop bothering yourself about heaven. Are you following me? Stop bothering yourself about heaven. Focus on the assignment on earth. It's not like God wants 7.3 billion persons on earth to just fill the earth. It was not about number. It was about God providing solution at different places. You are wondering how come they've not discovered the complete cure for HIV. You are still wondering. You don't know that inside of you lies a solution that you are yet quiet about. God is waiting for you. For the world is waiting earnestly for the manifestation of what? The sons and daughters of God. The world is waiting. So who is now a national problem solver? A national problem solver is one who is part of God's salvation arrangement. One who is part of God's salvation arrangement. A national problem solver is one who is able to handle the dominion God has given to him. One who is able to handle the dominion that God has given unto him. A national problem solver is a restorer. Is a restorer. If there was one thing that Jesus earnestly asked for, is the grace and the ability to become an influence. People should be able to look at you as a reference for where they are going to. Are you following me now? There are people where you want to excel in certain fields, they will tell you, go and study the lives of these ones. They have become what? Reference to a pursuit. That is exactly what you are made to be. And so as a national problem solver, you are created as a restorer. 
why do we value men of the old so much thomas eggs will measure great men we have even men of today we value some of them why because they have become reference point that is god's design for you he wants you to become a reference point unto certain things of the earth because you carry something that the earth need to beckon on you have a national assignment with you and if you refuse the world the national solution the world will still be groaning and groping in darkness the world will still be groaning in darkness it is not so much about what you carry it is about what has possessed you the spirit of the lord can so much it's not about you carrying the spirit of god it has the spirit been able to possess you it's not about you knowing what to do have what you want to do, be able to possess you if you look at the life of david it, it was it was careless for a young boy to come and say i want to fight this guy it was careless but because he knew what he was carrying he was overwhelmed by the solution he was carrying he told them come on i need to fight this guy and the bible said even when they put on the whole arm upon him he said no it's not about this armor there is something inside of me that can deal with this guy it has nothing to do with this armor that even when they were parading they said that you shall not pray to any other god in this land you must only pray to god then they said there is something that is pushing me it's beyond the laws you guys are giving i have to pray to god why because something has possessed them you must get to that point where the solution you carry possess you that every opportunity you see you always want to share with people and say look look at what the assignment is and look at how god has asked me funny enough we have failed to inquire from god the solution that will be here we are bearers of good news we carry a divine mandate that must be let loose so what are the things that problem solvers have been able to do that we can learn from i have discovered from my research that in most cases it is not about them it's about the world you can't be a true problem solver when you are too egocentric when you are too focused on yourself you have to focus on the assignment not on yourself when david was about to bring down goliath it wasn't about david take yourself away from the picture and focus on the people i hope you understand that you were not created for yourself you were created for someone and so people who are national problem solvers don't focus so much on themselves they carry the problems of the world alongside when Esther reached her life to enter into the king's palace and then participate in the competition, it wasn't about Esther. Are you following me now? It was about who? It was about the people. They are people oriented. Stop being only for yourself. I, myself, and me. Let that idea go out of your mind. When Nehemiah was carrying the course of the nation, it wasn't about Nehemiah. It was about said because of the news that the people brought, he did not eat for days it wasn't about him as far as Nehemiah was concerned in the land where he was slave he had enough to eat as a matter of fact he was the cup bearer which means he had access to taste everything the king would eat before the king would eat it and so he ate what the king ate are you following me now so it wasn't about the him it was about the people a national problem solver one who is carrying solution is not one who is focused on himself is one who is focused about the people of the reasons why you have been heard in one place is because you are always focusing on yourself how can i get a car how can i build my house how can i get married how can i do this no 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 it should it should be when you, you see, sometimes when you pray this this annoys me you pray oh god bless me bless me and god is waiting to say why did i bless you you have no reason lord i want to buy a car lord. you should understand that god wants you to focus more on the creation for the bible said god so much loved the world on the contrary we have hated the world because we are focused on ourselves lord bless me so much i want to be able to take ten thousand persons out of the streets through the, the the company you will give to me then god begin to listen say now it's about the people not about you so a national problem solver is focused at, at people oriented not self-oriented it is one character you must begin to imbibe from today when you come here to minister stop trying to impress yourself it's not it's not about self it's about how do i minister and people get get some notions in their heart 
under my ministration? How can people get healing under my ministration? How can, how can people just, just say, I want to give my life to Christ? Then you are focusing on the people, not about yourself. That even when the instruments are not there, you can carry on with your ministry. Why? Because it's about the people, not about you. When you understand that it's about the people, there's a certain level of preparation you, you, you give yourself. Are you following me now? I remember when I was struggling with something before I gained admission. I, I knew that this was not just about me. It has to be about the people. So I took my time to make sure I, I wrote a book that addressed that problem specifically in schools. Because I know people are going through this. It should not be about them it should be about them. Let it be about the people. Child of God, carry the people minded. The people minded. Whether you are a man, you are a woman, you are a boy, the people minded. Hallelujah. Let it be about the people, not about you. Problem solvers understand the true meaning of worship. Problem solvers understand the true meaning of worship. And what is the first and the true definition of worship is what? Obedience. The most expressed form of worship is not when you lift up holy hands that may not be holy. It's not when you lift up holy legs that may not be holy. The most expressed form of worship is when you obey God. Look at them in the scriptures. They were men who obeyed God. Look at David. They, they listened to God. For even when God chastised them, they are calm to receive it. They don't rebel against God. When they err, they are quick to run for I say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Why? Because I want to be obedient. They know how to spend time in obedience to God. David was not just a king. He was a prophet. Hope you understand that. Why? These were people who listened to God. They were ready to obey God. A true problem solver is obedient and a time giver. Why? Because they understand that the only thing that increases your altitude is your level of time. They are not depending so much on themselves. Child of God, it, it is not bad to learn skis. I am an ardent preacher of skis. It is not bad to go to school. I, I love going to school. I went to school. But the issue is, aside from this, thing, who where is your trust? Is it on the certificates you are about to earn? Or on the God who has the power to drop the certificate and take you somewhere? Is the only one who can employ you outside of your certificate? Is the only one who can make the world run after you? Why? Because you carry something. And so you must understand that a true problem solver understands the first form of worship, which is what obedience and is a thanksgiver. Three, a true problem solver is marketable. And how do you become marketable? You become marketable by diligence. You become you begin to ask yourself a question. If if I find myself in a strange land now, what exactly can I begin to do? So I told you I'll focus some, somehow on your career. Are you marketable? Child of God, the easiest way to become marketable is to first of all sell yourself to God. If you have not sold yourself to God, you cannot be marketable. And so true ability to market yourself is that you are sold to God. And how do you sell yourself to God? You sell yourself to God in service, in genuine service. For when you sell yourself to God, God will sell you to the world. The problem we have is that we have refused to sell ourselves to the world, to God. And hence, we are struggling to sell ourselves to the world and it's not working. And you get annoyed. You said, I have done this. I have sang that song. I have an album. I have a track. I have this. It's not selling. Calm down. You have not sold yourself to God. He gave you the gifts and the abilities. He knows what is embedded inside. He knows how to take you from where you are to stardom. But until you sell yourself to God, you may be carrying fire yet. You may not be able to light up anything. Hallelujah. This was the secret of Daniel. He sold himself to God. Meshach, Abednego, they sold themselves to God. That they could tell themselves, see, even if our God will not save us, let us die. As far as we are concerned, it is God or nothing else. Some of you, at the slightest opportunity, you will compromise your stand. You are not ready to emerge as a solutionist yet. But adventure, you are not aware. God wants to say, can this person really be trusted? See, I told you before, I said, if you cannot be tested, you cannot be trusted. If God cannot trust you, then he has not tested you. And if he tests you and you fail, then he cannot trust you. And so he said, you know what, let me test this girl, let me do something. Eventually, in your 400 level, in your last lap, you are having a course, and then you have one lap to go, and somebody keeps telling you, why don't you and see the lecturer? Why don't you look for a way to pass through? God said, I can't trust this one. We are not honorable enough because we have not sold ourselves to God. Something is competing for our life. The earth is competing for our life. 
other things within are competing for our service we have not sold ourselves to god people who are national problem solvers are those who have given themselves completely to god if it has to do with fellowship if it has to do with prayer they are always ready it is not something you have to be forced we have we have we now have christians these days who only come to church when they feel like when they want to and when they think it is possible so the other day the man that had the car because his car broke down in the morning where he could easily trek in five minutes and he would be in church he said pastor sorry my car broke that's why i couldn't come to church what are you saying have you not made your car your god that's what is happening we are now in an era when the weather becomes gloomy a bit so oh my god i can't go to church it's going to rain let me stay at home rain has now become a source of a, a source of excuse rather than a point where you should say ah before it starts raining let me run to church you must be ready to sell yourself to God. National problem solvers are passionate about the things they do. You must be passionate about what you are doing. What pains me the most is that some of you would tell me that I am studying political science, but I don't intend to use it. What, 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 what kind of statement is that? So who pushed you into the course? You are not passionate enough. Whether you got there by mistake, you did not understand what was happening. There was a divine arrangement for you there. And so they are passionate about what they do. Do you see how much David trusted his sling and the stones? He said, Don't worry, I'm going to kill this man not with a weapon, but I have my sling and I have my stone to take him down. They are passionate. And when you become passionate, you can be so passionate that you move into a state of obsession where you are obsessed with what God has given to you. Be obsessed with your gifts, be obsessed with your abilities, be obsessed with your thing, be obsessed with God. Carry him. Everywhere you are going, always be ready to sky. It has to do with God and I'm involved. Don't wait for another 19 Simon before you say, oh, I, I, I will join. No, you have to be obsessed with the solutions that you have. When you hear men like Bigget and they say they drop out of school, they did not drop out of school because they just want to drop out of school. They were obsessed with what they carry. And they say, Kai, if I keep staying here, I'm going to be delayed for what I want to do. Kai, because of your obsession, they stepped down from school and did what? And pursued it. That is obsession where you have been able to prioritize something very hard you have been able to prioritize the service you have been able to prioritize the solution that god has given unto you so well some of you the abilities that god has given unto you you don't just know how massive they are that's why you are still keeping quiet in your mother's room and you are hiding yourself and waiting until the time you manifest problem solvers are passionate and obsessed obsession is the energy that fuels your gifts and abilities that was why David could not ignore Goliath because he was obsessed with the solution I had. And so to be a true national problem solver, you must get into that stage of obsession. You mustn't allow it to die. You cannot benefit from something that you don't enjoy doing. You cannot benefit from something you don't like. Haven't you noticed that lecture that you heard so well, you always pay this course because you don't like it. So you can only benefit from the things that you enjoy doing. Find out your point of obsession and be passionate about it get closer to it and get yourself in it four national problem solvers are not motivated by external factors they are motivated by themselves and god what is motivating you oh my mother did not pay my school fees my father did not pay my school fees that's why i couldn't i, I couldn't advance uh, there, there were, i lost my mother while i was in 20 level that's why i could no 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 if you are motivated by yourself and motivated by god nothing stops you the bible said and david encouraged himself in the lord and he stepped out. The people were weak. They picked up stone to stone him. It wasn't about the people this time. Why? Because if he listened to the people, they are going to end up killing him. He encouraged himself in the Lord. National problem solvers are motivated by themselves and the Spirit of God. Stop looking for external source of motivation. So just because they called you to come and play piano and you got there and after you finished playing and it did not give you one letter, you, you felt, oh my God, I can't, I can't do it again. I can't do it again. You, you are allowing the external things to motivate you. When you are motivated by yourself, thank God I, I, I did well today. And then you keep, you, keep, you keep putting in your best. You keep putting in yourself. A little while. Stop looking for things that will motivate you. That's why today's singers, until they take in their hand, they cannot sing. They are looking for external motivation, and that's why they keep there one by one. You see somebody that is singing, he has money, but he looks like broom. He, he looks as if mom, mom's already feeling nothing while he's alive. Because they have gotten external sort of motivation. The average reggae man cannot sing until he takes something. And eventually, they, they think they are motivated, but it only lasts for a while. But when you are your source of motivation, even when other things are fading away, you are standing. That was the reason why Joseph could not just give up on the dreams. If he had waited on his mother, 
or the one who so caught of many colors for him eventually he wouldn't have been able to push forward what did he do he let go of those things tell of god if you want to be a true rational problem solver you must be ready to be self-motivated and must be ready to be motivated by god hallelujah when you are motivated by god you only see possibilities why because you are carrying something that is driving you i understand that some persons are motivated by money money may be a good motivator but it's a bad tax master as a result it's not good to always see you can't go too far when you are money driven am i saying you hate money no money is good you can't go too far when your focus your primary focus is money you have to understand what is pushing me see a dream is not something you dream at night a dream is something that prevents you from sleeping I understand that when you sleep at night, you have dreams, yes. But there is this thing that can engulf you that you, you cannot sleep. Say, ah, this thing, what do I do? Why? Because you are carrying something that the world needs to see. When was the last time you could not sleep? Because you are thinking about a problem and you know you have the solution. You don't just know where to begin. You never have that time. Why? Because the next question you ask yourself is how much did they pay me? You have a lot of money to be clad your judgment. You have a lot of money to be in charge. No. Being self-motivated -motivated helps you to create a synergy between your soul, spirit, and body. If it's money, sometimes your soul may be there, your spirit may not be there, and that's how you mess up. People who are self-motivated are always ready. A one-time opportunity could be the opportunity that will sell you. Come, just come and sing. Nobody goes, just come and sing. Because you are prepared, you come and you do it so well, and they say, you know what, let him just sing. Let him just continue singing. Why? Because you are prepared. Child of God, you must allow yourself to be motivated by God. National problem solvers are ardent knowledge seekers. Anywhere there is knowledge, you run after it. Why have we come to a generation that is no longer? If there was one kind of prayer that Paul prayed, I, 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 I tried to look at the writings of Paul. There was one prayer that was consistent in Paul. He said, Father, let the eyes of their understanding be enlightened. Paul knew what he was talking about. It, it's not just it's not just about, about doing it. He said, Let the eyes of their understanding be enlightened. That is, they should be able to diligently seek for knowledge. Their eyes need to open up. If you want to be a true problem solver as a lady, as a guy, you must be ready to pursue knowledge. Consume knowledge. At this age, some of you are here. The last time you read a book was the textbook they gave you or the material they gave in your class. You've not had time to borrow books. There are people who have books they have read and they are tired. You just want to go there and borrow. You will not read. Even when you borrow, you will carry it from January to December. You only read three pages. Because you are so unserious. Don't, are you not aware that inside books are the knowledge of those who have gone ahead? They can only pen it down in a book. Find out. Study the word of God. Get connected. Find out. Be ready for knowledge. Okay, I am playing this keyboard now. All you have been playing since they gave birth to is to the me first. That's all. How to you don't you cannot even be point somebody and say, ah, let me let me advance, let me learn. There is more to this thing that meet the eye. How about when you get there tomorrow and they give you a parent that is big? You're not begin to go, where do I even start from? You are confused. Why? Because you have not seek knowledge. You are a singer, you don't even understand. I was listening to the uh, those in sing the other and it was in the, in the ministration, and I think the people that were playing this were not singing well. I just heard him in the song saying, Be flat, and they understood what he was saying. Why? Because he's what? And instrumentally, he understand that I need to learn forward. For some of you, you come and you are singing, you don't even care like me, you are like me. You don't even care whether the people is there or no, you are not concerned, you don't begin to push. You are not ready to seek for knowledge. Whatever you are doing, some of you were giving portfolios in this fellowship. With what you were giving, you can advance so well. I told you and I'm saying it again. Glory be to God, not pride or anything. As the premier of the fellowship, I told them, I told my I said, God, I have to read this Bible from Jesus Revelation. If that's the only thing I do before I finish, I have to do it. And so I made it compulsory that yearly I will have to read from the beginning to the end. It's not pride. It's because I've decided that I must grow. Some of you are prayer secretary. You have not read one book on prayer. How do you think you do it? No wonder every time you come here, you misfire the prayer. Let us pray. Let's thank God for exam. Let's thank God for exam. Let every day we are thanking God for exam. That is over. You have decided not to learn. You are not an ardent seeker of knowledge. Some of you are setting this instrument. I know people who started in the fellowship like this, and today they are setting it for, for big programs. If they give you now two, two, two mixer, two amplifier, and put you, you don't be looking and say, oh, where do I start? They give you an equalizer in the middle, you are confused. Why? Because you are only used to small, small things, and you are not prepared for the big one. You can't solve problems. You can't solve problems that way. It doesn't work that way. You have to be prepared. Hallelujah. I, 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 I'm sorry if I'm mentioning some specific rose it goes beyond that whatever you are doing seek for knowledge seek for knowledge 
and that's some people we, 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 we tomorrow go and open one church at the end of the day they will find that for since 10 years vision 2020 they started 10 years vision 2020 we have our church they'll show you the auditorium 10 years they've not laid foundation why because they've not gone to study some things how men men put to churches and you see somebody that will come today he's not fake pastor he will come today in two years the church is already standing what happened knowledge they are ardent knowledge seekers six national problem seekers don't procrastinate they do it instantly hope you understand that procrastination will only make your difficulty grow bigger it's a thief of time it's a lazy man's apology it is what you do when you feel like ah you, you, you begin to focus something you should do now to begin oh my god that is what i was teaching you guys on gifts maybe not this year and i said you know yourself to be a singer you are walking on the street and god began to minister a song to you common sense say even if you're on okay, okay man, can you stop thank you take your money go hide yourself one place sing the song sing it sing it sing it impossible record the song have it and then begin to move if you say when i get home you will sing that song i want to remind you that when you get home the chorus and the verse you have forgotten why because you procrastinated some of you would have given us songs that were sung in the heaven but unfortunately every day you keep giving us you keep giving us to my eye here you you cannot speak you cannot tune to heaven and let us sing the song they are singing in heaven I mean no insult, no offense. It, it, I'm just trying to be blunt to tell you that you have to get to that stage where you don't allow procrastination to lead you. And what are the things you do? Try and schedule your activities. Prioritize. Question your excuses. Some of the excuses you give yourself for not wanting to do that thing now may be may not be genuine. Question your excuses. Delegate. The wickedness of men is that we are singing Nigerians. I listened to one of your singers. I would mention his name. The man was singing and only him no backup nothing and i saw the way he was sweating that's not anointing it's stress i saw the way he was sweating and sweating all his clothes were soaked what happened to men like jamuwe that when they are singing as if they are not using the mic no stress why because they have specialization so first they are backing up in this system oh but you know as a nigeria because the money that will be paid you want to share the as a greedy nigeria that you are you will now begin to sing the song alone at the end of the day all you be, when you get to say i've lost my voice why would you not lose your voice why because you are greedy look for ways to to bring in people who have similar skills look for people that you can cook with both of you can go through the whole of you can grow together stop trying to do and take the glory alone national problem solvers they value time i don't want to talk about time but you understand that time is the construction of life time is the only thing that can drag you to anywhere without the permission it just need to, it can drag you to anywhere without time is the only resources that cannot be recycled once it is lost it is lost you know why god created time God created time for your solution. He knows that if I allow man to live in a world without time, like I am living in a world without time, man will not, will, will, may not be able to fulfill the mandate I've been doing. So I set a course for man. There's a seed time, there's a harvest time. So time was created so that you will have a frame, a duration to complete your task. Even though the God who has created the time lives in a talent where there is no time. So you must value time. Your necessary jokes. I'm not saying don't laugh. I'm not saying don't smile. It's good to rest. But your necessary jokes, you keep telling, you tell, you tell, you laugh, laugh, laugh. Till you fell from the chair and you stop and you begin to laugh again, laugh again, laugh again. My brother, after the laughing, what do you end up? Your ribs are paining you. That's the end product. You have no regard for time. Many of you have wasted so much time and you are beginning. Some of you are now 25, 26, 27. Very soon, you'll be 28, you'll be 29. And if another house strike happen, thank God you're longer. If another strike happen now, you may enter that time. You may not go for national service. You have one time on in the course of this period for the ladies they are they are they are optimistic that well whatever happens i will get married it's not about getting married my dear sister respect your time how can a guy call you you will talk with the guy on phone for 30 minutes what are you discussing you you will not tell yourself that he has money that's why he's kind of be smiling <laughs> you are wasting time and the boy too who takes phone and call a girl for 30 minutes and what kind of like what are you going to be discussing for 30 minutes are you, are you conducting a, a deliverance service or a revival program value time look at joseph look at david they value time they have they have regards for time i don't want to go to men of peace i can leave the guys alone for you value time have regards for time arrange your time don't waste it stop wasting your time be creative with your time be creative you, you got, got so much value time and surprisingly you don't even know how long you have to live on, on earth yet you are burning the time very quickly national problem solvers value time seven Problem solvers, they are not given to complacency. Eight now. 
okay they are not given to complacency what do i mean by that hope you know that the greatest threat to yes to today's victory is yesterday's success the greatest threat to today's victory is yesterday's success i know people who are living on past glory when we were youth we used to say you are just 40 are you are you old young man young woman problem solvers don't give him paul said I, I let go of the previous things. Are you getting me now? I push forward for the things that I had. I let go of the former things. I forget the former things. I don't allow past glory to hold me. Many of you have been held by past glory. That's complacency. It's a dangerous thing. It can keep you one place for years. When we used to sing, we'll sing and Holy Ghost will fall down. That was four years ago. What happened in this fourth year? Holy Ghost has suddenly abandoned you. And all the invitations that are bringing you, they are inviting you on the past glory. When that generation is over, you become useless. Flee complacence. Yesterday is gone. Today has its own achievement. There are milestones to be covered. That's the mindset of a plan solver. Yesterday is history. Today is given unto me. It's today that you have control over. Hallelujah. You must be ready to escape from complacency. Don't be given to complacency. Hallelujah. Again, what is common in national problem solvers, they understand that work has no alternative. Some of you are looking for free bread. Your uncle has promised you a job, just leave it to one. Your uncle can disappoint you. By the time you graduate, your uncle will look at you and say, Bro, what did you leave with? Say, two one. He said, mm, It should have been first class. First class, I would have been able to help you. And perhaps when you leave with first class, your uncle will tell you, mm, How old are you? Say, 27. He said, You're looking for 25 years old value work value work what is not is not digging digging gutter work is anything you give your energy to you give your intellect to that is work when was the last time a singer you went on your own and, and you, you, you were somewhere you were scoring songs scoring songs to the extent that you didn't even know it, it two three hours passed before i said guy is getting late you know that home it, it's not happening again it's a national people used to get songs in, in two minutes they don't go to uncle if i become a child of god how hallelujah please uh producer listen listen roll it if i become then don't no expect us to buy the nonsense value the place of work a drummer you you cannot you should begin to look for ways to get your own drum set or where you can have access to reality it's not only when you come to fellowship you'll not be using a drum to practice and break all the snare and everything we will not be looking for money to fix it if that is not like right look for ways value work get something you can use to rehearse value work john 5 verse 17 jesus speaking he said my father work helped to i work also see anybody who doesn't teach you to work is against your progress as a problem solver you must have regard for work i i know a, a quite number of people who have come i said sir i said i can i'm sorry i said, I, can, I'm sorry. I, I can only help you to get something are you ready to work they say yes and by the time you give them a job eventually they mess up that was how the other day the sister came to the pastor and said, Sir, sir I need a job. And pastor said, You know what? I'll call my friend. You will go there and he will give you a job. He called the friend. The friend said, Let her come tomorrow. And she prepared herself to go. The night before she would go, she did something. When she got there, the man, the MD was not in the office. And she sat on the chair waiting for the MD. Unknown to her, she closed off. And the MD came and entered the office. And let her pastor said, Ah, after, have you not seen my daughter I sent? She said, No, I've not seen anybody. It's okay. Check now. She's around. And then they, they came outside and they checked. Said, sir, maybe he's the one that is sleeping there now. And they work in it. You end this around. Yeah, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And then they told the person, sir, I am sorry. If this is the one you recommended, I cannot employ this one. What was the problem? Overnight to come for an interview, she did, she, she did the gym. Holy as and thou. Now, only in the, now only had to go to church now. Is that, one, is that one village people? Village people are on their own, JJ at home. You have, you have invited them willingly. You have no regard for work. People who have regard for work, they don't waste time. Child of God, you must have regard for work. So in his work, so is giving. King David tended his father's sheep. He was the youngest. He has every right to say, Daddy, I'm young. I cannot be going to the wilderness to so come take care. But because he understood the place of work, he, he, he had to listen to his father. Hope you understand that people walk into their destiny casually through obedience. They enter into their destiny casually through obedience. It was through obedience that David got hold of his destiny value work finally people that are national problem solvers are bounded by loyalty oh my god they are bounded by loyalty many of you are not loyal how many people are loyal people who are loyal they understand boundaries and joseph said hey, madam if it's, if it's you 
Eh? I'm not involved. But I know that everything in this house, or God has handed over to me, but minus you. Because he was loyal, he understands what? Boundaries. Child of God, understand your boundary. I know a pastor who used to sing when he was the choir master of the church. After the while, they gave him sing. They gave him church. He cannot sing again. The gift will disappear. Instead of him to focus on what he is gifted to do, he wants to be a pastor in the church and preach on the altar. So you come to church every day. You come to church to sing, sing, and sing in the altar. People cannot hear the word of God again. Know your boundaries. I am gifted in this area. Respect where you are. Don't try. They come. And you know you are you, you are loaded with the gift to pray. You are not you are not blessed with the gift to sing. You are like I did for many years in, in Lagos. I was struggling. I joined the chorus stars. At the point they start to not use mic again. I should just be singing from the back. To the extent that if I even come, <laughs> if I even for choir rehearsal, it will seem as if I'm not there. I can remember then I must now bed. It's a famous. Don't sing. You wait. You wait. You wait. I, I was like, what is happening? Why am I waiting when others are singing? Simple question. Famous. What do you sing? I say, is it treble? Is it, is it tenor? I don't even know. That, we, that's how some of you are. You you don't know your boundaries. You are swapped and you are struggling there for years. And you're wasting time. By the time you realize it, you have gone very, very far. To so begin to start again, now you have no mate. It's only you on the road. Child of God, have regards for boundaries. Be loyal to what you're calling. Are you following me? Be loyal to your calling. And be dedicated. I want to round up there. Let me not go too far. Be dedicated to what you are doing. Dedication is the key to the extension. If you want to be a unique person, strive for dedication. Be dedicated to what you are doing. So much more that the gift and the solution God have sent you. You are like that young prophet. Some of you, you like food, and another problem you have is that you talk too much. Look at the story of the young prophet. He went to the king, and the king tried to do something, and raised up his hand with that, and he prayed, and the king. Now he met the old prophet on the road. The simple question the old prophet asked him is, "Where are you? Who are you?" Simple question. I am a prophet. It's not okay. I'm a prophet. The Lord has sent me to the king to tell him, and the Lord said, I should not eat. Who asked you? It, it, a simple question. Who are you or whatever? It, it, give me answer. You began to narrate your whole story. And the old prophet who want to remain in charge decided to do what? To bring you down. Some of you have talked too much and you have talked your solution into the wrong hands. After you now say they stole your song, they stole your song. Why would they not steal your song? When you have, you have sang it to the wrong ears. From what we are doing, I'm not just here to talk. I want you to understand what you, what you carry when you walk there's a way you walk you walk with an understanding of who you are don't just be singing i know who god says i am what you don't even know you are confused you are just joining the lady to sing raise up your voice to heaven and say look the time has come for the solution in me to arise the time has come for the solution in me to arise the time has come for the solution in me to arise if one of you will proffer a solution to the problems we have in the world and you become so mighty and so good, all of us in castle are blessed. Are, are you, you don't understand me now. But the contrary, people will say when they finish school, you begin to listen to yourself, I'm going to favor market. market. Favor is not sellable, it's not a sellable commodity, so it's not in the market. You are going to labor market. The carrot value upon that, carrot value upon that, Lagos, they are changing seed every day. Ask God, Father, let the solution in me arise. Let the solution in me arise. Prepare your questions briefly as I will, I'm rounding up already. Let the solution in me arise. I'm not just here to talk. I want to begin to hear your stories after now. I want to begin to hear that Sunday Dana is on TV. They are interviewing him for, for a model he propagated in accounting. They have been struggling to do that model. You just come and say, you know what? Do like this, do like this. And that's all. That, that's what I want. I would tell you and I say, please, on your TV, let's watch this guy. I want to hear that that pathologist has found a solution to the problem that they're having. Amen. For you to be able to get the solution to become who you want to be, you must associate yourself with God. If you are too far from God, you can't get it. 
He said, I know my sheep and my sheep knows me. You can't listen to someone that you are not a friend of. So as you close your eyes, wherever you are, you know you have not made peace with God. You know you are just coming to fellowship to increase our problems in fellowship. But you should be helping us to solve the problems. It's not, I'm not forcing you. This is what I do in programs. You know you have not made peace with God. Please, child of God, that is who you are. Lift up your hands to God and ask Him to show you mercy. Lift up your hands to God and ask Him to show you mercy. I have not met peace with God. You need to make peace with God. Ask him to show you mercy. Let the solution in me arise. I don't know about you. I, I, I wish I pray so much that I want to be given a national barrier. I want to add my debt. They will say we are going on one day morning holiday for Mr. Famous. Is it possible? It's possible. I told you that day. When Jacob died, Egypt went on a seven days morning. For, for Jacob, because of Joseph, my Muro was given a national barrier. It's a human. It's not only when ex-president die who have national day. You can be so important to your nation that your demise is like they have lost everything. Lord, let my solution come out. Ayana, <laughs> <laughs> 